I've always loved ancient primitive art. I love color and I like adornments a lot. And I like moods. My new work that I've been doing for the past couple of years um, has been really interesting to me. And when I look at primitive artwork in museums, I'm always really fascinated by the visceral feeling that I get from the artwork. It just hits me in a place that is esoteric. I don't know where it comes from, but I just have always loved that. So I started to uh, do try to evoke a visceral feeling in my artwork. And um, this was at the end of a series where I vacillate between sort of serious moody stuff and then light and whimsical, playing with a lot of color, playing with movement. And uh, this was at the end of that series. And I was really interested in trying to get as primal a feeling from it as I possibly can. So this is where it came from. And I honestly think, um, for me personally, that they evoke that feeling. I was trying to blend 2020 into a primal feeling that I got from other things in museums. and. I've always liked hardware. Um, it, it, besides being so functional, it's also really interesting looking. I, I just, and screws and colors and nails and the different sizes and lengths. And I like metal quite a bit as well as glass. So I just thought that it would blend 2020 showing sort of the edginess of right now with the world mood uh, that you would get from the primitive thing. I think having been a public school teacher for so long and dealing with kids and seeing the evolution that children have gone through, and I think seeing the evolution of a mindset that we as Americans have uh, gone through, sometimes we're um, too technologically involved that we don't get down to the basics of let's get dirty, um, let's just let your imagination go and try to look back at where we came from rather than always where we're going. Using um, the materials I did, I was trying to, again, evoke that feeling of primitive moods that we seem to be coming so slick that we're not realizing that they're there. And maybe the only time we experiencing experience them is if we cry or we laugh or we do a lot of exercise and you're absolutely exhausted or you stay up all night long and you're absolutely exhausted, but you don't realize that that's the primitiveness of us coming through. And I wanted to try to invoke that feeling, a piece that you would look at on the wall.